And um, you say, if you, is there a lot that God's got to do? Well, yeah, there's a lot that the Lord is trying to work in me. And, um, but I'm glad that whenever God, that whenever, I'm glad that whenever God does reveal something in me, that there's still conviction there. And um, I don't know what, I'd, I'd be scared to death to, to wonder what life would be like without conviction. Uh, there's a friend of mine that texted me here a while back, and um, I've been requesting prayer for, uh, for, for them. And uh, I don't know what it'd be like to live a life without conviction. But I'm so glad that God cares enough that, uh, that, if he, that, that, that he still sends what we need. I'm, I th- I'm thankful that God still cares. Remember the words of this song. Maybe this won't be too high. So long I search for life's meaning. Not too high. So so long I search for life's meaning. Enslaved.
Without him I could do nothing. Without him I'd surely fail. Without him I would be drifting like a ship with thank the Lord for saving me and for all that he's done for me. He's really been good to me. I just thank you. Down through the years, I've had a lot of friends who'd be there for a while and then they're gone again. But since I met this man, the one they call Jesus, there's one thing I'm sure of, he will never leave. He's been a long time friend, stood right by my side. He's helped me through some bad days, brought me through the darkest night. He's been there through the years, he'll be there till the end. You ask me why I love him, why I live my life for him. He's been a long time friend. On down through the years, he's been a friend like no other. He forgave me of my sin. He became my elder brother. Stands by me in the storm, protects me in the fire, holding on to him, holding on with all my mind. He's been a long time friend, stood right by my side. He's held me through some bad days, brought me through the darkest night. He's been there through the years. He'll be there till the end. You ask me why I love him, why I live my life for him. He's been a long time friend.
Boy, it's been a long time, friend, ain't it? Amen. I can honestly say that tonight. Ain't nobody like Jesus. There's been a lot said about Jesus tonight, a lot sung about Jesus tonight. Mercy walked in, and the list goes on. But you see, that is the story tonight. You pray for us as we try to sing, then we'll try to deliver what's on our heart tonight. So. <clears throat> One dark night down in Egypt, a fearful time had come for a young Hebrew boy who was his father's firstborn son. With the angel of death soon passing through, it was hard to go to sleep. For one little lamb stuck in his mind as he lay there counting sheep. He thought of why the young lamb had to die and why its blood was on the door. Through the wind and rain did it still remain. He wanted to be sure. So he called out to his father with a tender voice so scared, crying, Father, please will you look and see if the blood is still there. And he said, Son, now don't you worry. The blood is there to stay. The winds may blow and the rain may fall, but it won't just wash away. The blood will stand the raging storm. It's been applied with loving care. Safe, secure, you can rest assured that the blood is still there. Looking over all the damage The storm had left behind A flood of endless questions And doubt had filled my mind In the fear that gripped my troubled soul Brought me to my knees in prayer Crying, Father, please, will you look and see if the blood is still there? And he said, Son, now don't you worry. The blood is there to stay. The winds may blow and the rains may fall, but it won't just wash away. The blood will stand the raging storm. It's been applied with loving care. Safe, secure, you can rest assured that the blood is still there. Safe, secure, you can rest assured that the blood is still there. Amen. Praise God. I'm glad tonight that I can have confidence in the blood. Amen. And I, I want to say tonight that a lot of people may get the wrong idea about that song. You see, the blood's either going to be there on judgment day to justify you or condemn you. Amen. But the blood will be there, I promise you. Amen. And I'm glad to know tonight that I'm on the winning side. I was thinking about what uh, Brother Brandon said about thank God for conviction. Amen. I tell you, if you don't have conviction in your life, you're not saved. That's, uh, that's about as plain as I can put it. But I thank God for conviction tonight. Thank God for Jesus tonight. Thank God for the blood. You know, we, we have justification as far as our faith is concerned. But when you look back to Egypt that night, 
It was a man by the name of Moses that told him, said, you got to do this. Uh, the Lord is going to pass by, and if you don't do this, they had no record, they had no Passover. There was no reference as far as the Torah or the law was concerned. There was no reference as far as Calvary was concerned. It was just pure faith. You've got to believe it. And that's not where I'm going tonight, but I, I'm sure that some of them knowing that the firstborn was going to die, and like the song said that, uh, the firstborn son of his father was there and said, well, Father, what are we going to do? And I believe that the father said, son, there's only one thing we can do. You've just got to trust the blood. Amen? You've just got to trust the blood. And can I say tonight, uh, that's what we've got to do. We've just got to trust the blood. There's nothing else that we can do. Uh, I know tonight that there's people that's looking after, sir, looking for signs. And, and uh, we're going to kind of go maybe that way for just a few moments tonight as uh, God would help us. If you have your Bibles, turn with us to uh, uh, the book of uh, 1 Corinthians tonight. Book of 1 Corinthians. We're going to read a, a few scriptures there and then just go as the Lord would lead us. But uh, I was thinking about all the things that's been sung and all the things that's been said uh, about Jesus tonight. It just kind of confirmed the uh, way that we felt led to go in the, in the uh, service tonight. Uh, because I want to say tonight, He is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He was a friend that there whenever that you were an enemy to God. He was a friend that was there whenever that uh, you had no friends and he'll be a friend that'll still be there when you have no friends. Amen. Uh, but the Bible tells us in the book of 1 Corinthians tonight in verse number or chapter number 1 and verse number 18 it reads as this. It said, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. But unto us which are saved it is the power of God. You see, the world don't understand the cross tonight, but if you're saved, you understand the cross tonight. Amen? Uh, but to us that are saved, it is the power of God. Look on down to verse number 22 with me, if you would, please. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after, seek after wisdom. Paul says in verse number 23, But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. It's, a, it's a, 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 an occasion of ridicule to the Jews. It's nonsense to the Greeks. But I want you to notice what he says on down in chapter number 2, and then we'll try to deliver what's on our heart. Chapter number 2 and verse number 2, uh, uh, the, the Apostle Paul says this, uh, For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. So you see today, you may be seated tonight. Thank you for standing in reverence to the reading of the Word of God. You see, Paul had one message tonight uh, uh, to the church at Corinth, and that was Jesus. Uh, I still believe tonight, I know that we need teachings regarding everything else, uh, uh, but I believe tonight that the world needs to hear about Jesus. Uh, I, believe they, I believe that Jesus is the only answer uh, uh, for the world tonight. Now, as we begin to look into this for just a little bit, you pray for me tonight that God would give me the increase that you might be helped. I, I look back and find that before I, the Bible tells us that whenever the morning stars sang together, before the mud seals of the earth, I, I was ever laid, before there was ever a universe, before there was ever a star, before there was ever a, a, anything that we see tangible as far as proof of creation is concerned, I, I, that God the Father, God the Son, I, I, God the Holy Ghost, I, I were in a place in eternity, amen. He was in eternity I, I past as we know it, the angels, the angelic host, uh, I was there. Uh, and we know that there was a plan for creation uh, uh, that was brought up. We know whenever the earth was created by the Word of God, according to the book of Genesis uh, and according uh, uh, to the writings of John, the earth was created uh, uh, by the Word of God. It was spoken uh, uh, into existence. We know the heavens uh, uh, were spoken into existence. Uh, uh, but we find that there was an incarnation uh, uh, as far as uh, Jesus was concerned. Uh, uh, here upon this earth. Uh, uh, we find that in the book of Genesis uh, uh, he was the voice of God uh, uh, to Adam and Eve as he walked in the garden. Uh, uh, we find that uh, uh, as he, uh, as uh, scriptures progress uh, uh, to Moses, uh, he was a flaming fire in a bush uh, and the voice of God once again. Uh, uh, we find as it progresses on, uh, uh, he was the hope of Joseph. Uh, uh, we find as it progresses on uh, uh, that he was the lamb, uh, uh, that promised lamb to Abraham. Uh, 
Uh, uh, we find as it progresses on, uh, even farther in the book of Exodus, uh, uh, he was a pillar of fire by night. Uh, uh, he was uh, uh, the cloud by day. He was the rock that followed the um, uh, uh, in the book of Exodus. Uh, uh, we find as it goes on, uh, the Bible tells us uh, uh, in the book of Isaiah uh, uh, that he was at the root of David. We find that, uh, that he's turned as the branch uh, uh, in the Word of God. We find that, uh, that he's turned many other things uh, uh, you find in the Word of God. Uh, uh, we find that he was Alpha. He was Omega. Uh, uh, he was the beginning. He was the end. Amen. Uh, uh, we find that, uh, that he was the cleft of the rock uh, in which we could hide. We find that he's a strong tower uh, uh, that we can run into uh, and are saved. Uh, uh, we find all through the Word of God uh, uh, but we find that there was a visitation to a little uh, a lady in the book of Luke chapter number 2 uh, uh, by an angel. Uh, and he said this, and his name shall be called Jesus uh, and he shall save his people uh, uh, from their sins. Uh, he had been types. He had been figures. Uh, uh, he had been uh, uh, articles. He had been uh, implications. Uh, uh, all down through uh, uh, 4,000 years of time. Uh, uh, but thanks be unto God on that glorious day. Uh, uh, whenever that the Annunciation uh, uh, was made uh, uh, to Mary. His name shall be called Jesus. Uh, uh, Mary was appointed uh, uh, that very day as the virgin Isaiah spoke about. Uh, and her uh, act that was in her womb uh, uh, was the one that was to be born. Uh, that was in her womb was the one that was to carry our iniquities, our sorrows, and our griefs. Uh, and thank God uh, uh, that he did come into this world. Uh, and that's the reason tonight that I believe uh, uh, that this world needs to hear about a man called Jesus. Amen. You see, the Apostle Paul was a man that was brought up according to the strictest manner of the law. He could have stood right there but among the Corinthians uh, and told them all the condemnation of their life uh, uh, that the law had for them uh, because he knew the law and he knew the life that they were living. Uh, uh, but Paul said, I didn't come just like Jesus. I, I didn't come to condemn you. I come to know nothing among you uh, uh, but Jesus Christ uh, and Him crucified. Uh, Oz, friends, let me tell you something tonight. Ain't nobody like Him. Uh, I thank God for a friend tonight. Uh, thank God tonight that in the person of Jesus one day I, a mercy walked into my life I, and grace was extended I, I, to my life. I, I, they came to him. I, I, the disciples of John came to him in, in uh, Luke chapter number 7 I believe it was. I, I came to him I, and said art thou he uh, that shall come I, or do we look for another? I, he said you just go back and tell John. Amen. I, I'm glad tonight there's some proof I, in this man Jesus. I, I want to say tonight I was reading a story I, uh, just before service tonight uh, about a young Jewish boy uh, uh, that was brought up in Judaism. He was brought up uh, uh, and he didn't know anything but the law. He didn't know anything but the Hebrew Scriptures. Uh, and said so he got in among some people uh, and they began to talk to him uh, about this man called Jesus. Uh, uh, you see, he only knew him as a Messiah. Uh, he only knew him as what I've shared with you out of the Old Testament. Uh, he didn't know him as a Redeemer. He didn't know him uh, as a Messiah. Uh, uh, but he said they began to watch him. Uh, and as he began to look at him, he said, he saw something different. Uh, he said it offended him whenever I, uh, uh, because you see to the Jews, uh, he's so high, uh, he's so holy, uh, he's so glorious. Uh, uh, they, hey, uh, uh, they can't even write uh, the name of God without washing their uh, uh, self first. I mean, that's how high and holy that they esteem God. Uh, and he said they were talking about uh, uh, being a friend to this man. They were talking about uh, just talking to him without a priest. Uh, they were talking to, uh, to him uh, about how that they had a relationship with him. Uh, and he said it almost offended him uh, uh, because uh, of his knowledge of God uh, and their knowledge of God. Uh, uh, but said he began to see a reality in what they were talking about. Uh, and so he became interested. Uh, uh, listen, if this is the same Messiah uh, that you're talking about, uh, that I know about uh, and you have this relationship with him, uh, uh, that I don't have, I have a head knowledge, uh, uh, but I don't have a heart knowledge. Uh, I have a relationship as far as knowledge is concerned, uh, but I don't have a relationship as far as person is concerned. Uh, uh, could you please Please uh, help me to find this relationship uh, with this man that I know only by the scriptures. Uh, and he said they led him in a simple prayer. And he bowed his head and said basically this. If this is real, I want this relationship. And he said never before in his life, Brother Brandon, had he felt the presence of God in his life until then. I want to say tonight, friend, if you'll open up a door, he'll come in. 
if you'll invite him, he'll visit, amen, but he won't just visit to come and leave. I, he'll visit to stay. I, and there ain't nobody like him. I, I, I want to say tonight, and I preached a message not too long ago in another church I, about this. I, I, when the disciples of John came looking for him, I, I want to say, they said, are you he that's to come or do we look for another? I, and I believe in proper terminology, I, I, he could have looked at him and said, why are you looking any farther? There's not another, amen. I, I cannot say tonight there's not another. I, he is the one. I, I want to say tonight to you, I, I listen, there's never been anybody come into this world I, I, that was a deliverer. There's been leaders that's come uh, over nations. There's been rulers that's come uh, over armies and promised a deliverance uh, uh, to a people, but it only wanted bondage. Uh, uh, there's people that come into this world uh, and they offer you drugs and alcohol and free love and uh, uh, permissiveness and everything else. I uh, uh, saying you can really find yourself here and you can find yourself there because you see, I, I, you are of an Adamic nature. I, I, you're destined to hell without Jesus tonight. I, I, you're, hey, I, I want to say tonight, I, I, you're a fleshly individual I, I, that's bound by sin. I, and in all these things, you can find yourself. I, I, but if you really want to find liberty, I, and you really want to find freedom, I, and you really want to find help, I, and you really want to find deliverance, I, and you really want to find life, I, and you really know what I want to know what it is I, I, to live life, I, I, you need to find this man called Jesus. Because there is no other amen. And his name shall be called Jesus. He won't just be a voice anymore. He won't just be a root anymore. He won't just be a branch anymore. He won't just be a rock anymore. But there's a friend that's sticking closer than a brother, amen. Praise God tonight for that friend. Praise God tonight. I mean, why would you want anything else? He's a deliverer tonight. He's a healer tonight. He's a savior tonight. He's a friend tonight. He's a help tonight. I read in the book of Hebrews where it said he was a succorer. Amen. That word in the Greek means this, one that runs rapidly to the aid of in the time of need. Praise God. Oh, I want to say tonight, you can't find anybody else that can be with you whenever there ain't nobody else around. Amen. But he said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I, but lo, I am with you always, even I, unto the end of the world. I, I, the Bible tells us in the book of Psalms, I, I cast thy burdens or cast your burdens upon the Lord, I, and he shall sustain thee. I, and I like this. I, he shall never, the Bible says, I, never suffer the righteous I, I, to be moved. Then we find a, a compilation of it and a confirmation of it I, in the book of Peter. You see, anytime you find I, anything duplicated in the Word of God, that means means it's established, amen. I, when you find it mentioned, it, hey, even under the law, in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. I, he said, cast thy burdens upon the Lord, I, and he shall sustain thee. I, he shall never suffer the righteous I, I, to be moved. I, he said in the book of Peter, cast thy burdens upon the Lord, I, amen. I, I, casting all thy cares upon him, I, I, for he cares for you tonight. I, oh, you see, tonight, I, he's one that cares. I, he's one that knows what you stand in need of. I, I, before you ask I like what Psalm said again I, he knoweth our thoughts afar off I, in other words he knows your thoughts before you ever even think them I, he knows the words you're going to speak I, I, before they ever even come out of your mouth I, I, Psalm said he knows you I, in your down sittings and he knows you in your uprisings amen I, he knows the way that you take Job said I, I, there's nothing that can be hid I, I, from the almighty God tonight I, I, you say brother you're combining God and Jesus well how can you separate them No, I'm not Unitarian, amen. Amen. But I want to say to you tonight, he's altogether lovely, I believe. Amen. I believe the writer of Songs of Solomon said he's altogether lovely, amen. Amen. He's a beautiful rose of Sharon. He's a bride in the morning star, amen. And I like 
what he said there. You see, the bright star is the evening star, and the morning star is totally different. Uh, that means whenever that day starts to get dark, uh, uh, there's something shining out there that we call uh, uh, the evening star. And do you know whenever the evening star uh, uh, begins to fade over the horizon, uh, uh, there's another star coming up uh, over the horizon, and we call it uh, uh, the morning star. Uh, that means that we're never without light with him uh, uh, because he is the bright uh, and uh, the morning star. Uh, I want to say, ask my hey, that's my Savior tonight. That's my God tonight. That's the one I trust in tonight. Uh, the one I lean on tonight. Uh, uh, what David said this. Uh, he said, if I make my bed in hell, you're there. Uh, if I take the wings of the morning uh, and fly into the heavens, uh, uh, thou art there. He said, where can I go uh, uh, to escape the presence of God? Uh, uh, boy, isn't it good tonight. Uh, Brother Jimmy, there may be a time I can't get you on the phone. Uh, there may be a time uh, uh, that I come to your house and you're not there. Uh, there may be a time with the rest of you uh, uh, that I can't find you when I need you. I, I mean, I can need you desperately I, and can't find you. I, I, but how many of you know if you're righteous tonight, if you're saved tonight, if you trust in Him tonight, I, I, there ain't no time that you can't find Him I, I, because He's always there. I, he's always there. A very present help I, in the time of trouble. That's my God tonight. Go ahead and give him a hand clap of praise. It's all right. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Amen. What a mighty God we serve tonight. Amen. Hey, there ain't no way to get to heaven but him. Amen. He is the door. He said, I'm the door to the sheepfold. Any man climb up any other way, he's the same as a thief and a robber. Can I say tonight, not only is he the only door, He's the only access to God, amen. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, praise God. I, I, so why do you need him? Now if you're going to heaven, you've got to have him, amen. I, he's the door, he's the access. I, I, not only that, I, I, there's one mediator between God and man. That's the man Christ Jesus. I, praise God. I'm glad I got somebody. I, I, because you see, according to the holy and divine I, written law of God, I cannot talk directly to God I, unless I do it by one of two means. I, I, you say, brother, what's those one of two means? I, I've got to either talk to him I, I threw him by the utterance of the Holy Ghost according I, I, to the book of Romans and according to the book of Jude I, I, according to the book of first or second first Corinthians I, I've got to talk to him by the utterance of the Holy Ghost I, or I've got to go through a mediator I, I can I say tonight there's times I, I, brother Brandon that I can't get engulfed deep enough I, in the Holy Ghost for the Holy Ghost to talk to God I, I, for me like Romans 8 says I, I, but I want to say when I can't get that deep how many of you know you can get so down a lot of times I, I, that you can't feel the spirit of God. You can get so down a lot of times that you can't feel the power of the Holy Ghost. You can get so down a lot of times and discouraged and burdened that hey you don't have any spirituality about you but there's never a time Dale, if I'm so low that I can't feel nothing. If I'm so low that I can't feel any unction in any other way. There's never a time that I can't fall down and cry this. Jesus Amen. Amen. And there's one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. Not the Pope, not the priest, not the preacher, not the president, but his name's Jesus. Amen. There may be a time I can't get to the preacher, but I can get to him. Amen. There may be a time, and I don't really want to, that I can't get to the Pope, but it don't matter. I can get to him. Amen. 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 I can get to him. You say, well, brother, what does it mean to get to him? Listen, the Bible tells us uh, that his ear is open to the cry of his people. Well, brother, how do you know I was talking about Jesus? That's Old Testament scripture. You can't access God. How do we talk about Jesus? Come on, help me now. You Bible readers, help me tonight. Amen. And don't, it, it didn't only say, listen, it didn't only say that his ear was not deaf to the cry of his people, but it said neither is his arm short. He can reach you. He knows where you're at. And to save, not don't, it don't only mean to deliver you from sin. When you look at that word save, it just means to deliver you. Amen. 
It don't matter what it's in. Amen. I remember whenever I was rolling that LP gas truck over here on 3,000 or 2,700 gallons of LP gas on it. Uh, and I was rolling all I could do say Jesus. And you know what? Uh, he delivered. Amen. Uh, it worked. Praise God. I, I want to say tonight, it doesn't matter what situation that you get in tonight, uh, where you're at, what you're confronted with. Uh, he's always available to you. Uh, he's always accessible to you. Uh, it's no wonder tonight uh, uh, that Paul said, forget what I know. Uh, forget what I've learned. Uh, forget enticing words. Uh, I forget education. I, I forget degrees. I, only thing I need to know among you I, is Jesus. I, only thing I need to know among you is Jesus I, and Him crucified. I, I no doubt Paul could have educated them I, in the law and said, You got to do this. I, I, you got to have this sacrifice for this problem and this sacrifice I, I, for that problem and this sacrifice I, I, for another problem. You got to bring a turtle dove I, and you got to bring a pigeon or you got to have a lamb or you got to have a goat I, or you got to have two birds and you got to have a running water or you got to have salt. Uh, and you got to have oil and you got to have all of this because he was educated at the feet of the game of law in accordance with the strictest manner of the law he said but I don't know nothing about you but Jesus and him crucified <laughs> boy ain't that simple ain't that simple amen all you got to do is come to know him all you got to do is come to know him all you say but brother I don't understand that you never will don't worry about it amen Paul didn't understand it. Paul said it's a mystery. Amen. Amen. But it works. It works. He's the only access. Listen tonight. There was no assurance in the lamb because they had to bring it every year just in hopes. It was a hope so thing. Amen. There was no assurance in turtle doves. There was no assurance because, listen, they had to wait to see if the priest come out from behind the veil. There was no assurance that that blood was going to be, uh, be accepted. There was no assurance that that priest was pure. It's not scriptural. I got called down on this years ago as a young preacher because I was talking about the, the bells in the border of the garment of the priest. And how that they went in and as long as they could hear the bells ringing in the garments, the border of the garment, they knew the priest was still alive. The man said, show me that in the Bible. Well, I got to look and it wasn't in there. But I got to studying and reading after some Jewish historians and Josephus said that they did that because they knew if the ringing of the bell stopped in the border of the priest's garment that he is defiled. But the problem is if there was a defiled priest went in behind the veil and died Anybody that went in there to pull him out died too. So you know what they said they did? They tied a rope to his ankle to pull him out. But you see, I've got confidence in my high priest tonight. Amen. Amen. You don't have to worry about the ringing of the bells and you don't have to worry about the rope, amen, I, because the Bible said he was holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners I, and made higher than the heavens. I, that, hey, that's my Savior tonight. I, I said that's my Savior tonight, amen. I, he was a spotless lamb. He was a spotless high priest. I, and you see, when you take a spotless high priest, I, uh, Brother Tucker, and a spotless lamb, I, and the spotless high priest offers a spotless lamb, I, and the priest is the lamb, and the lamb is the priest and both of them's acceptable before God. I, hey, there ain't much you can say about that, amen. I, I said there ain't much. You, hey, it works. Somebody say it works, amen. I, I, but listen tonight, not only do I have assurance I, in who he is. I, I, people says you've never seen him. I know, but I've felt him, amen. I, and I've seen him's handiwork and I've seen what the Bible says I, I, that he does. I, I, so can I say tonight I, I'm not going to cast away my confidence which hath great recompense of reward I, according to the word of God, amen. I, I'm assured that Jesus Jesus Christ uh, is the Son of God, the Savior uh, of the world, uh, and He'll save whosoever will let Him come uh, and take of uh, the water of life freely. Uh, I believe tonight that faith in that man, Jesus, uh, uh, will deliver the vilest sinner. Uh, I want to say tonight uh, uh, that there was a man in, the, in, the, uh, in Gadura that was a demoniac, uh, and that man, Jesus, set him free. Uh, uh, Mary Magdalene, uh, and he had thousands of devils. Uh, I want to say Mary Magdalene uh, had seven devils, and He set her free. Uh, there was a woman taken in adultery uh, and he set her free uh, uh, why because John 3 17 uh, I said he came not into the world to condemn the world uh, but that the world through him might be saved Amen. can I say hallelujah tonight Amen. 
that the world through him might be saved. Amen. He came unto his own, and his own received him not, but as many as received him to them gave he the power right, to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Amen. And the Bible tells us that if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Praise God tonight. I'm about to get on shouting ground. If we, hey, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanseth us from all sin listen I don't believe in limited atonement tonight I believe the blood covers it all I believe the blood cleanses it all I believe the blood delivers from all sin tonight and I don't believe that you're a little bit more or less sinner once you get saved if any man be in Christ according to Paul's writings in 2 Corinthians 5 17 if any man be in Christ he is a new creature old things are passed away and behold all all things, all things are become new. I wonder not if anybody raise your hand and say, I believe all things have become new. I can see a difference in me. I ain't looking for a difference in you. I'm looking for a difference in me. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I know nothing among you save Jesus and Him crucified. Can I ask you a question tonight? What more do I need to know? <laughs> He's a mediator. Through Him we have access according to the Word of God. Through Him we have redemption through His blood, even the forgiveness of sin. You see, when you read that, he said the Bible said through Him we have redemption. And I like what it said, even the forgiveness of sin. The reason that it emphasized that is this. We have redemption, even the total elimination of your sin debt. That's what it's saying. <laughs> Amen. Even. He's not just redeeming you, but he's totally eliminating your past. That's what that scripture says. Somebody say hallelujah right there. As the song says, what sins are you talking about? <laughs> I don't remember them anymore. Even the forgiveness, total elimination, total payment of sin. What sins are you talking about? I don't remember them anymore. What more do we need? Amen. Amen. said I'm just a dummy I don't know nothing but Jesus I'm kind of like the old black man said I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody that will save everybody and he will tonight and his salvation plan is simple you don't have to add anything to it come by and that without price amen no matter where you got any money, don't matter where you got any fame don't matter where you got any prestige don't matter where you got any knowledge, where you got any education just bring it all to Him. Amen. Amen. Just bring it all to Him. Amen. Said there was a man, they called him Dummy Smith, and no reflection upon him. He said he couldn't talk, and that's just a name that he'd come up with. And said that he, he took him to church, and, and he found Jesus. And he got to wondering what he could do. He couldn't talk. He didn't know what to do, but he wanted to be a witness. So he said he'd go down there on the street corner next to the church. He said up on top of the church is a big cross. And said he'd stand there and he had a Bible in his hand. And he'd point to himself and he'd raise his Bible up and point to the cross. <laughs> Amen. Why? He didn't know nothing but Jesus Christ and him crucified. Amen. And friend, that's all you need to know tonight is Jesus and him crucified. Amen. Praise God. I wonder tonight, are you sure? Do you have that assurance? Amen. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. You see, I feel on the inside of me tonight what that little Jewish boy felt. I feel a relationship. Can anybody feel that relationship tonight? Can anybody say tonight, I know he lives in me because I can feel him. 
I can feel him living on the inside of me, Brother Tim. Amen. I, amen. The old man moved out. Amen. I, and the new man has moved in. Praise God. And that new man, I, I want to say, hey, and my soul is renewed day by day I, I, by that man that's living on the inside. But if you're here tonight as Ethan begins to play, I'll close. I, I could preach. Listen, I, you'll never out-preach Jesus or never preach out Jesus. I promise you that. I, I, so tonight, I, it's Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Uh, the blood of that cross uh, that bought our redemption tonight. Let's all stand. Anyone here tonight, you feel the need of praying. You say, preacher, I, I'm not really saved. I don't really know him. I'm not really comfortable in my position or my condition. But I want to be. Can I tell you tonight? He came to seek and to save that which was lost. Gave you an invitation. Come unto me, all ye that labor. I know that's a lot of times used in reference to the church, and it's well, well fitted to do so. But he said, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. He said, let me help you pull your load tonight. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I'm meek and lowly in heart. And you shall find rest unto your soul. Anybody here tonight, you say, preacher, I'm not where I need to be with God. I, I really need prayer. I need to pray. Every head bowed, every eye closed just for a moment. If you're here tonight in that condition, you really need God. You don't know about your soul's condition. You'd like for us to pray for you. Just raise your hand tonight. We'll be happy to pray with you and pray for you. Anybody tonight? Amen. Maybe tonight there's somebody here that you're heavy laden. That invitation is for you as well. You say, I'm a Christian serving God. I know I'm saved, but I've just got something real heavy on me and I just need help. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I'll give you rest. I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me help you carry your load. Let me help you pull your load. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I'm meek and lowly in heart. Somebody else tonight, listen. This is the best place you can be if you're a Christian that's burdened. And I want to say tonight, if you don't ever get burdened, I need to know your secret. Because I get heavy laden, I get burdened every once in a while. But I sure am glad I know this man Jesus and I can take my problems and my needs to him. So if you're here tonight, some already in the altar, you're here tonight and you say, I'm burdened, I'm troubled, I really need, I really need some help with what I'm carrying. Just step out and come tonight. If you need help with what you're carrying, it's not a sin to admit you need help with what you're carrying. If it was, he wouldn't have given us those invitations in the word of God to bring them to him. Anybody else tonight, you need to pray. Some of you come around and pray, Brother Dale, tonight. The Bible says for us to lift up our hands and hang down, confirm the feeble knees, make straight paths for our feet, lest the lame be turned out of the way. It's the will of God we help carry one another's burdens tonight. God cares for us, and He wants us to likewise care for one another. Amen. Praise God. What a mighty God we serve tonight. What a wonderful God we serve tonight. What a loving God we serve tonight. What a caring God we serve tonight. I was reading in that same chapter in the book of Psalms where he said he placed the stars and he called them by name. Placed all the stars and he called them by name. Brother Aiden, they still have telescopes set up all over the world finding new stars and trying to figure out what to call them. God's already got them named tonight. That's my God tonight. And he cares for you. He cares for you tonight. Praise God. Anybody else tonight you need to pray? Anybody? Praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus, you see the need of this one has come. Needs of this congregation tonight, I pray, God, that you'd help all of us to have our, have, have our eyes more steadfastly set on you. Because your word tells us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him bore the cross, despising the shame. We thank you, Lord, that you did and sat down on the right hand of God. Principalities and powers being made subject unto you, Jesus. Lord, I pray you'd help us to keep our eyes set more steadfastly upon you. Moving our lives only you can, working our lives only you can. We'll honor you in Jesus' name.
What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. I found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He really is. I mean everything. He's the lion. He's the lamb. He's the door. He's the shepherd. <laughs> I'm so glad he's everything to me. Everything to me. You can bring him anything. Anything. You can tell him anything. And he won't tell nobody. Amen. What a friend. What a friend. He's a long time friend. I like that song. He is. He's my friend. He don't have to have company. He's fine just camping out with you and him. He's good in the crowd. But he's just as good by yourself. <laughs> he's good. I mean a God of all gods. That I was thinking, well, I mean, he was from everlasting to everlasting. Before they was anything, he was still God. It was just him. He was still God. What a God that would do all this and put me in the middle of it and then send his son to die for me. Who am I that God would be mindful of me? Who am I? I'm a nothing. I'm a nobody. But he loved me enough to die for me. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. I've carried him some things that you'd probably think I'm crazy for telling him about. He cared. He answered too. Amen. So don't think it's foolish. Amen. He, did you enjoy that good preaching tonight? Amen. Best message. That's the centerpiece of the table.